Hello everyone, it's Sharif from Rebel Technology and welcome to another product demo. Today we're going to show you our brand new triple clock generator called Clock. So Clock is a very small and yet yeah, very powerful and elegant module. And it can easily become the heartbeat of your entire modular ecosystem. And although it's only a 4HP module with three knobs and three outputs, it can yield a really musical outcome straight away without adding too much modules to process what it's generating. So let's just dive in and see what the functions are. So I'm just going to reset all the knobs so all the outputs are the same. So the top knob, that is your master tempo. And as you turn your knob anti-clockwise, the entire clock generation gets slower as you can see on the LED and as you turn it clockwise the speed gets faster and faster even though you're probably not going to see it because of the frame rate of the video. So the range of the BPM knob goes from 40 BPM to 200 BPM. However one thing to note here is the master out is not on the quarter note even though it says BPM, but instead it's a 16th note. And this is purely because this way you don't have to multiply the master out to make it work for your trigger sequencer. In this case, for me, it's a stock here. So moving on to the second and the third knob, and these are basically your divider and the multiplier. So both knob has the same function, but just a different value. So on the second knob, as you move away anti-clockwise from 12 o'clock, it actually divides the master clock by two, three, four, six, and eight times. And moving it clockwise, going past 12 o'clock, it actually multiplies the master clock with the same value. And on the third knob, it basically does the same thing, but with a different value, on third knob, it actually multiplies and divides by 1, 2, 4, 8, 12, or 24 times. And this really wide range of clock speed this module can generate, it becomes a really useful tool in many different situations, from creating a super slow clock for your generative music patch, to turning your envelope generator into super fast LFO. I think the possibility is pretty much endless. So now we know the functionality of each knobs and outputs, let's create something that we can hear. So I'm gonna take the master output and then bang that into the first channel of Stokia. That is connected to the first channel of Agonies that is going to the mix 04 for the amplitude modulation and also split to go to my analog VCO's FM input to design the kick drum sound. So master out. Oh, and I'm going to reset the all. And then first the input of the stoichia and that gets the sequencer running and let's turn up the volume. And now we have a straight up four on the floor, kick drum, nice and steady. And then I'm gonna take the second output and then plug that into the envelope generator that controls the hi-hat. Turning up the volume. And when I turn the second knob anti clockwise, you can instantly hear the hi hat slowing down and then speeding up as it goes past 12 o'clock clockwise. And what you can hear is a quite instant and quite musical result without adding extra modules to process the second clock. 
and now I'm going to take the third output and then plug that into the second channel of the Gunny S for the snare sound. Turning the volume up and that's too fast so I'm going to slow it down and then I'm just going to wiggle around and try to find a good 2 and 4 snare pattern. And here we go. Now we got a straight four on the floor with two four snare and the eighth note hi-hat. So I'm just gonna change the kick drum pattern and then I'm just gonna play with the hi-hat speed. And this is one of the favorite thing. Uh, when you set the clock to very slow and then do the uh, multiplication on the second knob, you can create a triplets and faster hi-hat patterns so what I'm going to do is I'm going to repatch some of the stuff so I can incorporate Owl into the mix and then I can just load the uh, PGL which is the pitch grain looper and then we have a little bit more fun with the clock and making some complex glitchy beat. So give me a moment. So with this new patch, I didn't actually change that much. All I did was, instead of directly plugging in the third output into the second channel of Gonyes, instead I put it into the multi, and then from there I can spread the same clock into the push input of the owl, as you can see on the LEDs. And that same clock is also fed into the envelope generator, which is actually controlling the mix of the owl. And also I split the second output, which controlling the hi-hat, that goes into another sequencer to create few more modulation source for the owl. So now you know what's happening in the new patch. I'm just gonna further demonstrate how you can manipulate different parameters of owl by changing the clock speed. So as I change the master BPM and also the clock speed of the third output, I'm effectively changing the characteristics of the PGL's glitch. So that pretty much covers the basic functionality of Clock and I hope it tickles your inspiration. So thanks for watching and please stay tuned to our YouTube channel. So till then, keep on wiggling and I'll see you soon. Bye.